Hi guys, Jamie and Minot here, and these are my pickups for the month of uh, March 2018. I hope you all had a happy Good Friday. Okay, the first one is kind of a platform puzzler type, well, kind of a platform game from Game Boy Color. Tom and Jerry, Mouse Attacks. Conker's Pocket Tales. I don't think this one is as raunchy as the Conker's Bad Fur Day. It's a spinoff of that. Um, I can't believe I didn't have this one already. I, I could have sworn I already had it, but uh, apparently I didn't. I'm trying to get back into collecting more Game Boy games. Uh, trying to get the lesser stuff that I probably wouldn't get before. Uh, I've got over 100 Game Boy games and almost 100 Game Boy Color games. I have to show them off one time. I, I did that one time, but I didn't do it quite right. Nobody saw the video, but we'll see. Toy Story 2. This is one of those... Uh, it's a platformer. You start off as Buzz uh, Lightyear. Okay, now let's see. We'll go ahead and see if we can't get rid of this glare here a little bit. There we go. Okay, this is probably the last new North American released uh, PS Vita game. It's uh, Velocity 2 times Critical Mass Edition. From what I've seen, it's a combination of a shooter and a... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog -tog type game in space, but it's gotten really, really, really good reviews. Uh, from now on, any new uh, PS Vita game I'll probably have to get from PlayAsia.com, East Asia Soft, or uh, Limited Run Games at a higher price if I want to, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, now, the last uh, two probably new, brand new 3DS games that uh, I'm going to get, because I don't think they're going to make any more that I want. Uh, Detective Pikachu, apparently this is a big hit in Japan. Uh, it's basically an action-adventure game where you uh, basically kind of like a old, one of those old point-and-click type games. But it's gotten real good uh, real good uh, reviews in Japan. This one's getting pretty good reviews. It's uh, from the same people that made uh, The Legend of Legacy. It's called The Alliance Alive. Uh, some people are calling it a sequel, but it's not. Uh, they say the gameplay is really deep on this, which is what I like in my RPGs. And I love Atlas games. I didn't care for Legend of Legacy, though. I thought that one was kind of repetitive. But uh, there's that. And they made me, you know, for the regular game, this one comes with like a, a keychain, a CD, an art book, and uh, the game itself. But uh, there's that. And that brings my... Uh, my 3DS collection up to, I think, 322 games, I think. Okay, now, this month, I got a whole slate of uh, Nintendo Switch games. Uh, I love the Nintendo Switch. I think they're coming out with a lot of great games. A lot of people are saying they're coming out with nothing but remasters and remakes. I don't believe that, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, here's the first one. I got this for 19 bucks. Lego, the Ninjango movie game, uh, video game. I, I like the action in this movie, but uh, ever since the first Lego movie, the one that's called the Lego movie, the rest of them have kind of gone downhill. I didn't like the Lego Batman movie. I didn't like care for the movies too much, but I love these games, though. They're very fun and addictive. And I love to explore with them and build things with them. Here's a great game. Bayonetta 2. It's kind of like, a, well, you know what Bayonetta is. It's kind of like a Sega's answer to uh, God of War. Only I think it's got a lot more charm to it. Uh, you can download the code for Bayonetta 1 on this game. But, however, uh, this one I bought pre-owned for 39 bucks, And I, didn't, I couldn't get the code on it. That's okay. Uh, it's an excellent game so far. It's very fun. Very, It's... Uh, I'm on the easy mode because I'm kind of a wuss that way. But I really enjoy it. It's fun to play. And there's that. Stern Pinball Arcade. It's basically a group, a bunch of pinball games that uh, from the real world. Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, this is basically like a Hyrule Warriors type game or a Dynasty Warriors type game, only with... Uh, Characters from the Fire Emblem series. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. 
It's a Lego game with all the Marvel superheroes. Scribblenauts Showdown. These are basically a bunch of mini games with the Scribblenaut where you're basically coming up with words and nouns to uh, beat your opponent. And uh, it's, a, it's a party style type game. Kind of like Mario Party. Only uh, with the Scribblenaut gameplay. Scribblenauts games are hit and miss for me. Some of them are good. The first one for the DS was awful because the controls were just so bad. But the ones after that were pretty good. Okay. My last one. Atelier Liddy and Suo. The Alchemists and the Mysterious Paintings. I don't know what the gameplay on this is like, but they say it's part of the Mysterious series. I haven't heard of that series, but I have heard of the Atelier series. Uh, I've got one Atelier game. haven't played it, but uh, a lot of them you can have to uh, import. Okay, guys, that was just a quick pickup video to, to kill your day, uh, to help fulfill your weekend, I guess. Tomorrow is Easter. I want to wish you a happy Easter and to remind you that he is risen and that he is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. And I hope you all have a happy Easter and I hope you all have a great weekend. Nice and relaxing. God bless. Bye-bye.